Good morning, good morning. It is a beautiful day and I am on the Nottosaga River with my Bible and my kayak. Uh, I have anchored near shore so you can see both the field and the river because I thought it would be really cool to read Psalm 23 while sitting on the river beside a field. And in the background you can see some of the, the cars going by, the busyness of this world. But this week we were specifically looking at scripture and how it reveals God's character to us, who God is. And so Psalm 23 uh, is one of the most uh, well-read passages and every time I read it I am encouraged and reminded about who God is and how much He loves me. He loves us. So I want us to read it together today and as we've done in, in the past, we're going to read it over and you're gonna pick out those words that tell us who God is, and then we're gonna pray. So first we're gonna pray to ask God to reveal himself through our scripture reading today, and then we're gonna read the passage and we're gonna pray again. So let's do this. Oh, good morning, Lord. We are so glad that your mercies are new every day and that you're meeting with us, and as we read your word, would you speak to us through the power of your Holy Spirit? Help us to hear what you want us to hear and apply it to our lives. We ask this in your name. Amen. All right. That wind. Okay. Psalm 23. For some of you, this will be very familiar. And for some of you, this might be the first time through this passage. But every time, doesn't matter if it's new or old, it seems new. And so let's read it together. You're listening for words that describe God's character. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever good passage and it just feels that much more real when you're sitting beside a field and the water right so good so now second time through you got your pen out you got your Bible open your ears are on and we're asking okay what does this passage tell me about God's character so starting off verse 1 the Lord is my shepherd the shepherd looked after his flock he made sure they were fed, he made sure they were protected, he made sure there was no diseases. And the flock knew the shepherd's voice. All he had to do was call and they would come. And they actually wouldn't come for any other person. Like if I was to stand beside the shepherd and do the exact same thing the shepherd was doing, they wouldn't come for me. But as soon as they hear the shepherd's voice, they know it's him and they come. So when we say the Lord is my shepherd, we can take that and go, okay, we can know his voice. We know he will look after us because it says, I have everything that I need, right? I shall not be in want. So he's going to provide for all of our needs. So that means he's a provider. He's going to provide for all of our needs. All of our needs. Isn't that amazing? So that also tells me he cares for his people. If he provides for all of their needs, he cares for their people. And he doesn't just care for their physical needs, he or their spiritual needs, he, he cares for their physical needs too. Because it goes on to say, he makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters, he restores my soul, he guides me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. That tells me God is not a busy God. God is not a rushing God. Uh, God is not a God <laughs> of... Uh, of racing and deadlines and stress and worries because it says that he he makes me he makes me lie down that means I'm the one that's worrying and rushing and and anxious but he's like no no you know what? I'm looking after all of your needs just calm down rest let me take care of things and it's by the still waters because you know when we sit beside still waters what happens our soul really is restored like I'm just gonna pause for a second so you can Enjoy. Maybe 
I'll even turn the camera around so you can see. I don't know if it'll let me do that. Nope. Let me see if I can turn it around this way. I can. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The Lord takes us beside still waters to restore our souls. Just so powerful. So powerful. And it says, so that tells me God doesn't want us rushing, that he actually wants us to trust him to take care of our needs. So he's a God who provides. He's a God who cares. He's a God who protects because this next part says, And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The rod and the staff were, done, were used to protect from predators and to keep the sheep in line. So that tells me that his discipline actually keeps us in line because he loves us. So one, he provides for all of our needs. And two... So he provides for all of our needs. Two, he doesn't want us to be anxious. He's not a rushing God. Uh, three, he disciplines us and protects us as well. <sighs> provides, rests, disciplines, protects. The next part says, um, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anoints my head with oil. My cup overflows. That means he's not going to take us out of this world, that he actually wants us to have influence in this world, right? Because it says, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. But even in the presence of my enemies, he's going to look after me. He's going to provide. He's going to care for me. And in fact, it's going to be good. And that doesn't mean physical goodness but that means knowing that the presence of God is with us and he's going to look after us in ways that we can't even begin to imagine. And Some of you needed to hear that today. Because you might be feeling like you're in the presence of your enemies and you just don't know what's going to happen. You, pre you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint, but you've set me apart, right? You anoint my head with oil my cup overflows like you're gonna look after me in the presence of my enemies when things aren't going right when I just feel like I can't handle it like you you are there you have not left me all right so so far we know he provides he is not a God who rushes he protects he disciplines and he never leaves whether uh, you know the valley of the shadow or de of death or in the presence of our enemies he doesn't leave in fact he's a God who gives abundance in the presence of our enemies and then it says surely because of all this surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life because because of who God is goodness and mercy goodness and love are gonna be with me because of who God is right we can't help but hang out with God and get filled up with his love and goodness and mercy it's just it's contagious so when we hang out with God, because of who he is, goodness and mercy, they will follow us. They're with us all the days of our life. And then we'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So that we will dwell in the house of the Lord. So continued provision. So he provides for us here on this earth. He looks after all of our needs. He makes us to become more like him, right? He and protects us because it says he disciplines. And he disciplines because he loves us because he doesn't want us to get hurt. And even in the presence of our enemies who provides, but not just provides, he provides to overflowing. <sighs> so good. And then at the end of all days, I'm going to get to live with him forever. So this is not just a, a God who creates us for a period of time. No, it's for all time. This is a God who creates us for all times and, and wants us to enjoy him for all time. So if we put our faith in Jesus Christ at the end of all days, when we have finished our time here on earth, we get to go to be with God, our provider, our caregiver, our protector, our discipliner, our abundant, our abundant God forever. Oh, how powerful. All right, my dear friends.
I just, I want to sit with this passage a little bit longer and I encourage you to do the same thing. And just sit with the Lord, my shepherd, your shepherd. And let him speak to you of how he, maybe he wants you to slow down and trust him. Maybe he wants to reveal to you how he's going to provide for you in the presence of your enemies. Maybe he wants you to see how goodness and mercy have been following you because you have put your faith in Jesus Christ. And so today, today, sit with the Lord. Experience the power of his character and apply it to your life because that's what he wants you to do. He wants you to get to know him more. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your goodness and your grace, the power of your scripture. You are our shepherd. Hmm. You are our shepherd. You look after us. You provide for us. You care for us. You guide us. You want us to slow down. You want us to slow down and trust in your provision in all areas of our life, in the quiet times and in the evil times. And on that note, Lord, we say amen. Amen. Have a great day. Bye.